Okay, here we go. It's use substitution, very important method of integration, and I'm not going to mess around here. I'm just going to do it because, because quite frankly, that the, that is how you learn use substitution. You just got to do it. Okay, so basically, you know, it involves, you know, as you probably assumed, there is going to be a substitution somewhere in here. Okay, so the goal is is we're going to take this, okay, and we're going to call it U. And then we're going to hopefully modify this little differential and um, that'll help us do some more damage. So let's just uh, go ahead and write this out. U is equal to X to the third plus four. Okay. So if I substitute that in there, okay, what's that going to give me? Okay. So look at that. That's, that's much. See, okay. We, we've been doing the term by term stuff. You know, which we can't really do right there. You know, we could distribute this if it wasn't for this raise to the third power business. Um, but th isn't this much better? I mean, we can we can integrate that pretty good if it were all in the same variable. See, that's a problem. Yeah, you know, we we well we I mean we don't want to get rid of the u because we did a u substitution. You know, so we're we're probably gonna have to get rid of these x's somehow. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take the derivative of u. Okay, let's just do it. Take the derivative of u. We can do that. That's 3x squared. Okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by dx. Okay? It's going to cancel those bad boys out. So now what do I got? I got du is equal to 3x squared dx. Okay. Um... Well, if I look over here, let me just write this uh, again over here, and hopefully this will make things a little more familiar. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Okay, but okay. So all I did was I just I just switched x and u around. Well, I've got this x. Ooh, it's x squared. I'm sorry. I got x squared times u to the third. Well. Looks like if I go over here and I divide this again, so I get some more work I gotta do. Um, it looks like I've got du over 3 is equal to x squared dx. Just to make this a little more. Okay, that. There we go. So it looks like what I can do now is I can go ahead and call du or dx dx x squared you know I've got that sitting right there I can go ahead and plug this into there okay that's basically what we're doing so u to the third and that's du over three okay you see how I did that okay alright so now I'm just gonna yank this this one third out I'm just gonna I mean it's just just coming right out in front of the integral Okay, so now I'm left with this. Now, look, we went from here all the way to this, relatively, you know, somewhat simply. But like I told you, you know, you're just, experience is the key here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and integrate this. So this is going to be one third u to the fourth over fourth plus c. Okay, and that is going to go a little further into one twelfth u to the fourth plus c. Okay, we're really not done yet. This is in terms of u. Okay, we want this to be in the terms of our original answer. Well, we said that u was equal to x to the third plus four. So let's just go ahead and say that. Let's say one twelfth x to the three plus four all raised to the fourth plus c. Okay, so that is the antiderivative right there. Okay, and we're not going to stop yet. We're going to check our answer. Okay, so let's just take the derivative of this thing right here. Okay, so I'm just copying it down. That's all I'm doing. Okay, so let's see if we uh, if 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 we did it all right. It should uh, should turn out to be. Uh, should be a winner. Okay, so let's go here. Um, one 
12. I'll just pull the constant out. And let's see. I'll go derivative of the outside first. Completely optional. You can go from the inside or the outside. Minus 1, that's 3. Now I'm going to go through the inside, and that's just 3x squared. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to yank these two guys out, and that's going to give me 12 over 12. Okay. Times x squared x to the third plus 4 to the 3. Of course, of course, we'll cancel that out. Am I still on the paper? Ah, uh, kind of. Okay, well, it looks like it worked out to me. So that is U substitution. Okay, and you're probably asking yourself, well, how did you know what to call U? And how, how did you know to divide both sides by DU and DX? Ooh, I got kind of messy there, too. Um, hey, I just did, okay? I was born that way. But, um, just kidding, of course. Um, but basically, it just comes from experience, you know? You're just going to have to work problems out. Um, be prepared to spend a little extra time on your homework because you will choose the wrong one sometimes. You won't get the right answer. You have to start all over again. Um, so, you know, just do some stuff like that. So, I'm going to do more examples, though. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll uh, clear some of this stuff up. Because, seriously, that's the best way to, to, to do this. Okay? Best way is just to work out problems. And eventually, you know, th there'll be really nothing that can stop you. And you substitution will work on about, you know, about 75 to 80% of your problems. So, this is an important thing to learn. Okay? Well, thanks for watching. Uh, that's just my little intro, and I'll see you next time, okay? See you in the next use substitution video.